This is how Chef Johnny Nunn's restaurant looked in January two years ago. His staff were busy and customers enjoyed the contemporary French food. Now, things are very much different at Verdigris on Fremont. Hey, hi, I'm uh, Chef Johnny Nunn and I am currently representing Verdigris Restaurant. There were 16 individuals who were furloughed front and back of house for two restaurants. So I stopped in and just started cooking for the staff and their families with donations from our purveyors. And it occurred to me that I could be doing more given the format. I've got a whole restaurant here and all the gear and a lot of resources for food and cheap food and a big mailing list of, of people that want to help. We pivoted to Shea Quarantine, which is a nonprofit entity um, taking donations to try and feed healthcare workers during the pandemic taking care by making to-go orders of food, sponsored by people who want to make sure that the workers in the healthcare fields are fed and ready to do their best. Hello. Hi. Hi. The opportunity was here for me to do it, and so I saw a need that could be relatively easily supplied by us, which was just to do bag, bag meals for healthcare workers who are on the front line and really risking themselves to take care of everyone. That's 24. Our company has sponsored us to come pick up food from local businesses and deliver them to frontline workers. Yeah, it feels great to be out in the community and showing support in a different way than we have before. Autumn and Jenna are taking lunches to Emanuel Hospital, supporting the workers there and supporting Chef Nunn at Vertigree. We're trying to make the best food we can with what we have. It's the only work Johnny can do right now, but there's one thing that he knows for sure. Until this is over, it's going to take all of us. Solidarity yeah. gives them the energy and motivation to keep going and doing the great things that they're doing. We're surviving. We'll probably open up again. We'll, we'll probably need to. And our landlord's been patient. I mean, it feels good to feed people. People like it. I'm Steve Redland, KGW News.